Hi bunnies. So I have a little bit of a different setup today. Um, I was hoping that you guys would be able to see my spread. Um, I'm a little bit uncomfortable because I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor. Um, but you know, I figured this way you guys might be able to see my cards and yeah, I'm literally like sitting on my knees. So I hope that this doesn't get too uncomfortable. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do what I like to call a story mode card reading, a story mode, um, channeled reading. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, today is November 19th. Let's see. November 19th, Tuesday. Um, this is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. I hope that you guys can see me. I know the camera angle is different now. I'm a little bit further away. Okay. So... <laughs> Sorry, um, fix my hair. Uh, you should see my before I go on camera. I am, um, so you guys, I don't have any eyebrows. So, beef, I had a little bit of makeup on today, but before I go on camera, I like to put my eyebrows on so I don't walk around looking all crazy like Whoopi Goldberg. Not to say that she looks bad or anything, but. I like to have eyebrows, so, um, and, and I brush my teeth and stuff, like, you guys will be able to smell my breath or something, <laughs> I don't know, oh my god, okay, so, um, where was I, I'm distracted, okay, so it's November 19th, it's Tuesday, here's my disclaimer, sometimes I cuss, I try very hard to censor myself, I don't always get to, um, also, this, my readings are always 18 and up, because, um, I have a sexual tarot deck and um, there is um, things of a sexual nature. So that's just my little disclaimer. Um, this is going to move kind of fast because I have a bunch of decks to do today. I have one, two, three. Let's see. One, two, three. I have six decks and I want to do all of them. So we're just going to go ahead and start jumping right in. Um... I'm going to do my top tarot deck first, I guess. And then I hope I don't get uncomfortable like this. It's very hard to sit on my feet for this long. Let's get back a little bit. Okay, our first card just went ahead and popped right out. This is Valor. Oh, actually, this the camera is a little bit better, so you guys can see a little bit better. See this, um, it's a seven of wands, Valor. I'm going to pull some other cards before I, while I listen to see if I'm getting anything. This card is courage. Someone has had to. Someone has had to get out of their comfort zone recently. Um, it's been very hard, but they've grown. And I heard they've been creeping out of the comfort zone, creeping out of the closet, not literally. Um, finding their wings again blossoming like a flower. It's taken a lot of courage to come out and do whatever it is that you're doing right now. It hasn't been easy, but you're doing it and you've been successful. Go you. Oh, another card just popped out. I'll come and take these two. Let's see. Oh, okay. These are good cards. Um, oh, so we got four cards. I guess I'll take all of these right now. Um, let's go for a second. Shoot. Sorry, guys. My 
cards got my stuff okay so in the past let me see i got the seven of swords and as we talked about before swords is generally communications but cutting off communications um this this the card is futility so in the past um someone has felt like everything that they've been doing up until this point has amounted to nothing and they were at the point where they basically felt like they wanted to give up they were just like i'm trying all these different options um i've been doing this i've been doing that and nothing's working out and they were at the point where they were just like fuck it and they were going to give up they were just starting to feel like nothing that they were doing was working out that's where they were at they were just like you know what i i you know i applied for this job i you know was trying to oh, the picture's falling down um I, you know, sorry, my ankle just cracked. Um, I've been trying, you know, different relationships with so-and-so or this person, or, you know, I'm waiting for my twin to contact me. I'm waiting for my soulmate to contact me. They're not coming. And they were about, to, you know, they felt like they were going to give up. Um, we got the Knight of Discs here. Um, discs, pentacles, same thing. Um, and he's got a horse. For some reason, I thought that was a sword, but I don't, I don't think it is. It's like some kind of um, bayonet, it looks like. Strange. He has, um, it looks like he has a deer in his hat. He has armor and a, a shield. Um, so this is, I, I keep getting a weary traveler. So basically this person was... They were getting tired. They felt like nothing that they were doing was working out. Um, hold on. I'm, this is a male energy. I mean, I, you know, it's, it's he's a knight. So sometimes I get female energies from these cards. This is this is definitely male energy. Um, so we could be talking about a male in particular who's feeling like this right now. Um, there's a wheat field. I'm, and I, I keep hearing you reap what you sow. Um, it's time to sow all of the good things. Okay. So basically here's what's happening. You're feeling like you're putting out all these good vibes. You're helping a lot of people. Um, you're doing the best you can. You're, you're, you're like, you know, I'm kind. I'm, I'm, um, I'm doing a good job. I'm, I'm being the best possible version of myself and it feels like it's not working out. Okay. So basically what I'm hearing is you reap what you sow. So basically if you're planting good seeds, you're going to get, you're going to get good fruits out. You're going to get good seeds. So don't give up. Okay. Um, there's a, a time for our harvest. There's always a time for our harvest. Maybe your harvest season is not coming yet. Maybe I don't know. There's lots of different reasons. Maybe there's a delay. Um, maybe the universe is, is testing you and saying, and I mean, I don't mean like literally testing you, but I mean, sometimes what the universe will do is they will, um, you know, they will ask you the same questions over and over again. Are you sure that this is what you want? Are you sure that this is what you want? Are you sure that this is what you want? And so they'll, they will, you know, send you what you didn't ask for, you know, and you'll be like, really? This is not what I wanted, okay? But what they're doing is they're giving you different options and they're saying, are you sure this is what you want? And if you just keep steady saying, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want, then all these other options will sort of fall away. So don't give up. Your harvest is near, okay? I heard this. It's coming, okay? You just got to be patient. You know, this, don't give up. You're starting to feel weary tired that's natural you know it's human nature don't give up your time's coming really soon because this is the next card that i pulled okay can you see it this is the happiness card sorry guys i don't know i don't like what my hair is doing now so this is the nine of cups okay besides the ten of cups it's one of the happiest cards in the whole entire deck first of all cups usually has to deal with love um ten of cups is like the coupe de gras of cups it's <laughs> It's the most amazing uh, um, cups card that you can draw. But this is almost as close. 
I mean, actually, to me, it's even better because this is the happiness card. Can you see? I don't know if you can see where it says happiness. There's a little bit of a glare. I'm trying to get it to focus. Oh, it's not going to focus, you guys. I'm really sorry. Okay. Anyways, nine of cups, happiness. So you're, it's right around the corner. Your time is coming. You probably can't even see those cards. Those. Okay. So that's what I drew so far. Um, yeah. So just hang in there. Okay. It's coming. I'm going to do the earth magic cards now because these are my favorite. So basically what the universe is saying is don't give up right now. Have your, you know what? First of all, though, I, I mean, I want to say your happiness is right around the corner, but True happiness is going to come from within. You have to find your peace first. And then everything else just sorts, sort of falls into place. Okay. I, believe me. Ooh. <laughs> I've been where you are. Um, you know, I've been having a really hard time lately. Especially with Mercury retrograde. But anyways, um, you just got to have faith. and um, Hi, honey. Hi. Hold on a second, guys. Hey guys, I apologize. My daughter, <laughs> she's three. Um, she doesn't know how to open doors, but somehow she opened this door and she got in here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hi, honey. So I had to pause it. Ironically, when I turned the camera back on, it said 11 11. So, okay. So, trying out this new flavored water. It's called Splash. It's by Nestle. It's kind of good. It's great flavored. I prefer pure water, but it's actually pretty good, guys. Okay, so where were we? Um, your time is coming. Okay, so I was talking about how I was struggling. Um, I've been having some health issues, guys, and I had to get up really early today and go to the doctors, and I have to have um, some more tests run. So... Basically, the point I'm trying to make is um, if you're going through a tough time, it always gets better. The sun has to shine. It can't It can't stay rainy forever. Um, keep the faith. Stay positive. And, I mean, the more that you sit around and act all sad and moody and glum, it's just going to make things worse. You know, you try to keep a positive outlook, and I promise you guys, magic, miracles are just going to unfold in your life, okay? So, stay positive, guys, okay? Um, oh, and this is a really good card, okay? So, this is a love and compassion, all right? Let me, I'm going to shuffle, try to see what I can get from this. Okay, so there's, it's two hands. I, it's lovers. I keep hearing lovers. It's two lovers and they're holding, they're holding a heart. I heard you, hold on. You have my heart in your hand. This is two people. And I, I keep seeing snow, you guys. There's like, in the card, there's like these little white flecks. And I keep hearing snow. So I feel like two people are going to find themselves again together maybe coming up soon christmas around christmas it's yeah it's snow we have snow we have snow now so it could be now um you hold my heart in your hand that's going to resonate with someone i don't know who um but i see two lovers holding hands in snow this is um the strength card mountain somebody felt like they weren't strong enough to 
to love this person. They were afraid. They're not afraid anymore. They found the strength to move their mountain. That's what I just heard. They're not afraid anymore. Whoever it is, they're ready. Vigilance. Stone people. Stone people. This person is, they're worried. They feel like you're going to give up on them. That's what I was getting from this card. They're saying, please don't give up. Stay vigilant. Have faith in me. I'm not going to give up on you. And the stones are significant too, because it says stone people. I feel like maybe this person is very unemotional. And you almost feel like they have a stone heart. Like they're, they're not feeling their emotions. They're not letting them out. And so you feel like they don't care about you, but they do. I can see this. They, they, you guys, they totally do. They care. <gasps> see, look at this fog. It says veiled. Whoever it is, this person, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. It scared me. Um, this poster keeps falling down. One second, guys. So it's just, it's just like I said, okay. That you feel like this person is whole, is hiding their emotions. Um, this card is veiled. So it's almost like they, they're, they're hiding themselves. They're hiding their emotions underneath the veil. I keep seeing a person like holding a veil over their face. It's almost like they don't want anyone to see their eyes and their face because they're afraid of giving something away. You know, they don't want the world to know that they love you basically is what it is. They don't want the world to know. But if you look here, the fog is clearing. Okay, it's this is fog. Okay, so everything's all cloudy right now. It's foggy. But the, the fog is parting and the light's shining through. So this person is going to be revealed. It, they're coming out. They've, like I said, they found their strength and they're coming out. And they're going to reveal their feelings really soon. The fog's parting. And it's all going to be revealed. It's going to be shown. Whoever it is. <laughs> okay, I've never, I haven't ever drawn from this deck, you guys. This is my gypsy card deck. Um, or, I'm sorry, witch's deck. That's what it's called. You know what? Let me move these cards out of the way. This is my witch's deck. Um, and I've had these cards for a really, really long time. So I'm really curious to see how this is, this, you know, is going to play into this story. So far, it's gotten really good. So we've got two people. One of them is afraid to show their feelings. The other one is really gung-ho about it. Um, the other person is going to reveal their feelings really soon. It's coming. Um, let's see what we got, you guys. I want to see how this story unfolds. Ah, I'm excited about it. Okay. So, the anchor. It says right on here, the anchor denotes successful ventures in business and love. Fidelity of the one you love. Okay. Anchor. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to see what I'm getting from this card. This person was in a relationship with someone else. 
they felt like they were anchored to that person. But they're getting out of it. They're either getting out of it or th this ship has sailed. They're done. It's over. They ended it. It says fid fidelity of the one you love. They they may have ended it because they had feelings for you. They that's probably why they ended it, you guys. Because they I don't know. I feel like maybe in the past they weren't always faithful to whoever they were with, but something about you changed it. They now this is the fidelity card. It says that they they're ready to settle down. Oh, this is the snake card. Okay, let me read what it says real quick. The snake indicates calamities. Three, which is covered by the distance from the prison. Okay, so I guess calamities is issues, problems. Um, that's not what I'm getting from this card, you guys. Let me listen. Secret. Oh my gosh. Okay, I keep, I keep getting this. Um, it's a secret. Someone has a secret. I, you guys, for the past three readings, I swear I've been channeling. I keep channeling the snake and the secret. So once again, someone's hiding something. Um, like a snake hides in the grass. They're holding on to something. I don't know if it's, um, they don't want to tell you that they were with someone or they're not ready to reveal to you that they left this person that they were with their, um, karmic relationship. Oh God, like three cards popped out. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so I was shuffling you guys and some cards just flew out and I was, I didn't know if I wanted to take any of them. But I'm going to take both of these. Okay. So I'm going to show you which one popped up first. Okay. So someone has a secret. Basically, they're holding on to something. I think it's basically that they, they either they were keeping the secret from their partner, their karmic partner, that they found someone, their soulmate or their twin, and they didn't want to let their partner know. Their partner knows now. So the secret's out. Um, I feel like the secret's out. Or it could be maybe they're keeping it from you that they love you and they left their partner and they're just not ready to reveal it yet who knows okay so this is the card that i drew it's um number 40 wine it says wine is a symbol of cheerfulness and gaiety so this is a celebration okay um something big is happening really soon and this is what it is can you see that number 47 the bride ensures for a single person the fulfillment of their highest aims So some of you guys are going to get married soon um, to this person that you, all of this, okay, it all ties in together. So this person that was with someone else, you, maybe you didn't know that they had feelings for you. They're going to reveal their feelings soon. Um, maybe it's someone you've been seeing in the past. They got with someone else. You guys broke up, but you always held a flame for them. They're coming back. All right. We're going to keep going. Oh, my goodness. My feet are falling asleep. Okay. So I'm going to pull from... Oh, my God. I have so many cards out here. My feet are seriously falling asleep. <laughs> so I got to set up. This, these are my love pack. I've had this for a long time, too. What in the hell? I knew that it was going to be trouble me sitting down on my feet like this for a long time. But almost half an hour, 24 minutes. So I'm just curious to see what what is going to play out with this. Um, if you know this person has some issues that they're holding on to, you have some issues that you're holding on to. So my God, I might just sit completely down on my butt, and it's going to make me look really small compared to this table. I'm sorry, guys, but very uncomfortable. So just wanted you guys to be able to see the um, the spread. Um, and which you can't even see because, well, you did, but I moved them all. So anyways, all right, so let's see what we got here. 
Okay, this card is giving of yourself. Can you see giving of oneself? So, this is all playing into the same story that I was, not story, but um, reading. I don't know who this is for. Like I said, it's for somebody. This is, you guys are going to give, you're going to give your whole entire heart to each other. Both of you are equally enamored. Look at this. They're literally sharing their hearts. They're sharing their thoughts, their futures, their, their plans, their dreams together. Okay. Mm, look at this. Look, you guys. Oh, my God. Can you see it? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Communication. So I feel like this person. Oh, my God. Just getting so good. I got to sit up. Okay. So I feel like this, whoever it is, this person, you haven't even, you haven't talked to them for a really long time. But the lines of communication are opening up. So they're going to contact you. And they're going to let you know all of this how they're feeling okay you guys are going to share your hearts dreams your heart's dreams your heart's desires all that stuff oh my god i'm so excited for you whoever this reading is for i'm so excited for you i'm going to pull one more card from this and then we're going to move on look at this receiving look this person is just they're gonna Hold on. I'm getting a little bit more than. They're going to give you their whole entire heart. So there's a gift on here too. And I keep hearing a, a gift, a literal gift. So they're, they might come with something. A present for you. And they're going to reveal everything then. And you got to be open to receive. Because if not, if you turn them away because you, you know, you were upset with them for one reason or another. I feel like you're going to be making a mistake. Try to stay open. Okay. And you know, I'm not saying if this was a bad relationship, if this person was violent with you or, you know, cheated on you or did anything to make you feel, you know, that you weren't good enough, then, um, hold on. It's count me down. Okay. So I feel like this person is going to come with a literal gift. So, And, and, okay, as I was saying before, this isn't like, um, you know, if this person was bad for you and you know that they were, this is not about them. This is someone who's going to come to you with genuine love for you, for who you are inside and out, okay? This is not someone that just wants to bang or whatever. If they were abusive to you. Physically, emotionally, verbally, they play games with you. This is not them. Because this is a genuinely loving soul. Okay? So, yeah, I had to clear up some stuff on my phone because I um, didn't have any space. Well, I wasn't using those cards. Okay. I was going to do these. These are my gypsy my gypsy cards I hate when you're in the middle of doing a channel reading and my phone does that it's just, there's not a lot of room on my phone I have to get an SD card so and that's the next thing on my list um I'm gonna take this time you guys I've been getting a lot of comments and DMs about readings so I'm going to put some information down below if you guys want 
to purchase a reading from me, then you can. Um, if you don't feel drawn to, then that's fine too. You don't have to. But I have been getting lots of messages about um, people wanting personal readings from me. So I will put that information down below. So if you are one of those people, you can go ahead and get a reading from me. I do do them. And if you follow me on Instagram, Chakra Bunny, C-H-A-K-R-A-B-U-N-N-Y. Um, I do a lot of specials on Instagram and sometimes I go live on Instagram doing readings. Um, so, you know, you can catch one of my specials and then, you know, you can also get a reading that way too. So, see what we got. All right, so this is the Hope card. So you feel like this person was never going to come around. Almost like you lost hope. This is me telling you that all hope is not lost. Isn't it funny how everything just ties together? This is, um, I don't really know. Malady? Malady, I'm probably saying that wrong. It basically means illness. Okay. Um, I don't see it be, being a physical illness. This is, this person felt so lost without you that they were physically sick. They were sick. They just, It made them, it made them ill. It literally made them ill. They needed, they needed to get all of it out. It was like they were holding it inside, you know, veiling it, you know, behind the fog. And they finally felt like they had to let it out because it was making them sick. It's just, they love you. They love you so much. And journey and again with the horses i keep getting the horses you guys are thirsty all right hold on let me listen because i feel like there's a lot of stuff coming from this card there's a factory i'm it's a castle i think but i'm seeing a factory i feel like this person Either you or this person work in a factory. Maybe you guys met in a factory. Factory job or something. It's a long, it's been a long time coming. That's what I heard. <laughs> now I'm driving wild horses to get to her. <laughs> That's what I heard. So this has been a long time coming. I feel like either one of you too, because it says journey. I feel like either one of you may go on a trip together or you're going to go on a trip. One of you is going to go on a trip and the other person is going to be nervous about it. I think if you go without this person, I feel like they'll be nervous about it because they feel like they're going to lose you if you go. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm going to pull one more card from here. Oh man, house. Hold on. There's a bridge. Okay. So I heard I'm building a bridge and I'm building a future. So, oh my goodness. This person is Oh, crap. 
Okay, so this person is, um, they're, you guys, I, this person bought a house. <laughs> Clearly, this is what's coming from this. This person bought this house and they didn't just buy it for them. They bought it because they want a future with you. That's why they bought this house. They, they almost feel like if I offer her something big and grand like this, that she can't say no. That's what they feel like. I heard building a bridge and building a future for us. Holy smokes. This person is completely enamored. Oh my gosh. I don't know who this reading is for, but you are one lucky dame. <laughs> I'm serious. Or gentleman. Could be a gentleman too, for sure. Definitely. We are not sexist here. Okay, you guys, I'm going to pull, this video has gotten really long, um, it's like 37 minutes, this is the longest video I've ever done. I'm going to pull two cards from the sexual tarot deck to see if I can get any more about this beautiful, um, this beautiful, um, what do I want to call it? Relationship, I guess, commitment, I don't know. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is the magician card, you guys. Holy crap. Okay. Let me just listen. Because there is a whole lot of stuff coming. Oh, okay. Male and female signs. Male and female energy. A couple uniting. Finally, after so long. This is what this, it's still coming down to this couple uniting. This is, he's got a sword. Tails around his neck. Fire. Okay, guys, I'm just trying to listen. Sorry, my, I'm using my phone camera. Somebody messaged me. Um, this person, okay, this is what I'm hearing. This person in a, in a different life, maybe before in a past life was, um, a sorcerer or a male witch. And they didn't have a good life. I think my camera is going to die again. Um, Okay, you guys, so I have to wrap this up because my camera, I had to delete a bunch of apps and stuff because I'm running out of storage on my phone. I'm getting irritated. I have 12 minutes, so we're going to do these last two cards and we're wrapping it up. Not that one. So as I was saying, um, in a past life, this person was a, um, a male witch, a wizard, and... Something bad happened. I don't know if they were killed because of this. Um, something really bad happened in their past life. And they... You knew them. You guys were in love. Something bad happened. And you guys were separated. And that's... Um, so you've known each other for a long time. That's why your guys' souls call out to each other. That's why he needs you so bad in this life. That's why he wants you back. You guys didn't have a chance to fulfill whatever it is you guys were doing together. Um, in this past life, there was a lot of pain. I feel like he was tortured and he was burned. I don't like it. I don't like to see that. I'm doing one more card, you guys, and then we gotta wrap this up. Like I said, my phone camera keeps dying, and um, I need to get this video out. So, okay. So this is the last card that I pulled. It's a death card. 
Um, as we know, death, we talked about this in my last video. Oh my God, I just dropped all my cards. Death means change. Holy smokes. All right. Like I said, I need to wrap this video up. Holy crap. I'm just seeing if anything is calling to me from these cards. All right, so it's a death card. Let me see. Let me see if I can get anything from this card before. Oh, my goodness. There's a couple in the background. They're... Mm, I got I to gotta get this on here. This message needs to come out before my camera dies again, you guys. So I'm panicking. There's a couple there. They're hiding behind death. Um, there's an hourglass. Oh my gosh. So there's something very important about the hourglass. Um, I keep hearing like time's running out. It's running out. Again, reap what you sow. There's a cornfield. Reaping what you sow. So if you sow seeds of love, you're going to get love back. If you're going to sow seeds of dissatisfaction, you're going to get that back. Um, this person is, they're desperate. They're starting to feel like they're running out of time and they, I keep hearing, I need, I need her desperately. They're worried. They're worried that whatever it was that happened in this past life is going to carry over into this life. They're worried that you guys are going to be separated again. They're scared. I'm feeling that. There's a lot of fear. Fear of change. Fear of loss. Fear of losing you. They need reassurance. They need to be reassured of your love. If this person comes to you, and he or she, I'm sorry, I keep saying he. I feel like it's a male, though. I feel like it's definitely a male going for a female. This person comes to you and lays her whole entire heart out in the line. You need to reassure them of the way that you feel. So if you love them, you need to tell them. You need to reassure them because they're really afraid. See that? There's the hourglass. They feel like time is running out and they're they're panicking. They're panicking. Okay. That's all we got for today, bunnies. Um, like I said, I'm going to put prices down below and a way for you guys to contact me if you want a reading. Because I've been getting a lot of DMs about readings and um, people that want readings. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh. My first two videos that I uploaded, I got so many likes and um Thanks for sharing. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for loving me, you guys. I've got so many watches on my videos and I just, I just downloaded them. I've only downloaded two videos and they've been watched so many times, you guys. I feel so blessed and so happy that you guys have um, been showing me so much love, um, liking and subscribing to all of you that have shared my videos thank you thank you so much you guys i feel so blessed and so honored to be doing this for you and i look forward to um sharing so many more videos with you guys and just going on these wonderful journeys together thank you so much all right um that's all we got for tonight then um i think my next video is going to be something different We'll probably do a story mode one, but I kind of want to do a Pokemon themed one because I love Pokemon. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get that together. No promises, guys. But I wanted to do like a pick a Pokemon card and then that's like your card for the day. So I'm going to be working on that hopefully. Next video. All right, guys. So remember, somebody loves you. It's me, guys. All right. Have a good night. Bye.